All right, this is Jerry Hubble again. Uh, we're here at Myron's house uh, setting up the IXOS 100 mount. Uh, Myron, come on in. Um, the, uh, the mount we have, on this, the telescope we have on here is the 80 millimeter refractor. And uh, this is the IXOS 100. We're gonna power it up and see how it moves. So uh, I'm gonna get this set up, actually line it up right there so it's mm -hmm. Nice. Uh, that's that's not really the North Celestial Pole, but we'll say it is, so you can see it better. Um, all right. Let me uh, let me come around here and yep. I'll power it up. Let's watch. Go through the power up sequence, and we're gonna we'll actually slew it and see how it moves and how it sounds. So I'm using a power adapter, an AC adapter. It comes with this battery pack that you see right here. This has HC batteries in it, which it's got the same, you know, it's got a nice barrel connector like the adapter has. Um, so I'll plug this in. Do you know if those are uh, regulated power? Are they regulated the, power? The uh, power is regulated in the uh, PMC-8 itself. So I've got power regulators on there. We got internal. Ac okay. Right, exactly. Yep. All right. Uh, this is kind of an unregulated 12-volt uh, source. But all the regulation and all the voltages are supplied are, are on the uh, module. So it sounds itself. like it's safe to use just the kind you might buy at uh, Best Buy or something. Right, like yeah, as long anywhere. as it's 12 volts and right. can handle okay. one or two amps and it'd be fine. Mm -hmm. um, all right, so I've got it powered up and we're going to see this is the first time this mount's been powered up and it'll be the first time we're trying to connect to it with the, uh, with the app? Explore Stars app. Yeah. So what, type, what kind of tablet you use? This is a this is a Samsung Tab A that I've got. Uh, it also works on Windows and iOS uh, and iPad. Let's see if I can get this to come on. So it's coming on right now. Uh, this is pretty neat. And the one of the nice features here, I don't know if you can see it, but it's got a nice little level bubble here too on the mount. Uh, and it's actually shifted off level just a little bit since we set up because the backyard, we've had so much rain in the past mm. few days, the backyard is soaking wet right now. We're in a quagmire almost. You probably can't see it, but it's, you might hear The, the other thing you can see back behind us yeah. while we're waiting for this to power up is the uh, MSRO Observatory. That's our remote observatory, the Mark Slade Remote Observatory. Bunch of LX200 in it. All right, it's coming on. Yep. So we'll see how this goes the first time. <laughs> you know, this is always happens on on camera. Hey, are you guys all selling these T-shirts? Yeah, can, we can, sell can these shirts. Buy these? We sell these shirts online. Yes. Yeah. Show the uh, okay. show the show them the so logo. So it's got the got the uh, PMC logo That's here. Pretty cool. Yep. Yep. All right, so um, let's start it up. I need to. Uh, Connect to the wireless, and the mount is powered up right now too. I can, yep. I can hear a little bit of a, kind of a little tiny uh, humming sound that's coming from there. Is it's just parked? So the first thing you need to yep. do, it's hard to see this thing. It's not the. Uh, let me see if I can turn the brightness up. I'm gonna turn the brightness mm -hmm. all the way up, and then I'm gonna set the. Uh, Connection. So the first thing you have to do is set the um, Wi-Fi connection, and it actually this tablet I had, had it connected previously to the PMC8 in the observatory, and it connected right to it, which is kind of neat. So I'm going to reset the connection. Each mount has its own uh, Wi-Fi ID, ID yeah. right? And you have to know. So which this connection. one yeah. is. Uh, 280 delta is what the pat what the idea is okay. for this mount and I changed it to a four digit number on this mount mm -hmm. as opposed because there's going to be much more thousands of these being sold versus the, what, a, a two digit versus number versus a two digit number yeah. right exactly right. so yeah. typing in the password which is PMC-8 now we are about 150 feet from the house and I will tell you that when I'm in the house I can connect to the PMC-8 system in MSRO2, as well, 
when it was at this location, as well as the observatory. So the range is really pretty good on these uh, systems. There's dogs in the backyard here. Well, they're actually uh, next. Next door. Next, next door. Two doors down. All right, it connected yep. immediately. All right, look at that. So that's the first thing to get over. So, so now, good. yeah, so far so good. So now I should be able to start up the Explore Stars app. Yeah. Yep, and there it is. All right, so in the Android version, there's no selection to turn this, the text white. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the speed up to nine, and I'm going to I'm going to move it in declination to see if it works. Look at that! Look at that! Right out of the box, do a connection. Well, we're not surprised, of course. And it works. That's just <laughs> I mean I'm not faking this. We did we did not absolutely do this beforehand. No, really, this is um, this is absolutely the first time. It is. It's right out of the box, as you saw. That's cool. So let me. Yeah, very good. Now we're moving in to, uh, right ascension. And you, you may or may not be able to hear that. It's pretty quiet. All right. So let me. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to park it, and then I'm going to slew to an object. Uh, and I'm going to link to a video that shows you what's going on in the screen, also to do that stuff. Um, so I'm going to go to catalog. Well, I'm going to go to core. Nope. Let me back up. And this is the scope that we'll be using tonight to image. So the images that will be posted uh, on this video or linked to it will be taken through this setup that you're seeing right now. So in order to park it, I've got to go to settings on the Android and hit park. Boy, that is really nice. Nice. Yep. It sounds exactly like the G11 mount in the, in the main station. Just to give you mm -hmm. an idea, it's, it sounds quality. It really does. And this has belt drive. It doesn't have spur gears. It's a belt drive, metal metal pulleys. Yeah. So it's all metal. So it, I it, know there's questions online of whether it's plastic or not, but it's not. It's and if you're if you're willing to give up the hand control on a mount like this, this is what you get. You get a higher quality, really sophisticated, um, high tech mount that, that has capability that will take you well beyond just the first few views of the moon. Um, slewing to various deep sky objects and then into uh, the beginning phases of astrophotography. So I've got the catalog up now and I'm just going to pick something in the Messier objects. I don't know what's up now. I don't... M15. I, I don't think I've set the... Uh, so One of the things you have to do before you use this thing is set the longitude and latitude. I think I do have it set uh, before, but we'll see. I'm we'll gonna, see what it does. Yeah. What are you going, M15? 15, yeah. That'll now be... this isn't pointing north right now, but it'll it'll slew. Yeah. Um, so it's lead objects, so let's do that. Do that? Yeah. <laughs> and it's going to be, it should be fairly close to the uh, marine. If you have some uh, concerns, you got to watch the tube hitting the tripod at higher um, declinations, but in this declination, we're perfectly fine. Let's see here. <laughs> Let me go to another object. What do you think? Um, okay, you, what you, you want it uh, further east or west? Yeah, let's go east and see what it does. Further east, um, you could do M31. Okay. That's got a higher um, right ascension. It'll be further east, and it's going to swing it down this way too. So it's it should go, to, it should peer flip. Yeah, that's what. There it is. The IXOS 100, DMC8. It's really uh, very nice out of the box. Working as expected. Mm-hmm. Yep. All right. Well, I imagine that you're going to be uh, having a lot of customers uh, buying these. I know that I would want one. I do want one. I think it's a great little mount. Grab and go. Uh, we're going to be putting an eyepiece in the uh, in the telescope. And you know what? We don't, I don't have a diagonal here. Let's see if it reaches focus. That's we can see. Yeah, see it's, it's got this extender on it. Yeah, it may, so it may be fine. It's 8.8. .8. Let's get the wide. What's, yeah, this what's, is the uh, this is the 11 here. There's no other eyepiece. Okay, so nope, this is it. So we'll use the 11. The other ones are two inches. We'll see what it looks like. Yep. 
Typically you put a diagonal on here. All right. So right. we're gonna just leave, use it terrestrially, look at some pine cones. And I'm gonna flew it around. Trees. Actually, I can, uh, I can enter a coordinate. I don't know if it would work. Let's, let's, let's slew it, let's just yeah, slew it we'll around. Yeah, just slew it and kind of aim it in that direction over there or toward the trees. And we'll get it in there and we'll oh. focus. Oh, we put it up toward yeah, the top of the top tree. Yeah, put trees over there far enough away that they should be able to focus that. All right, so I'm using a tablet here. You want to keep going? And you want to swing it in uh, right ascension now towards the uh, west. Oh, I'm sorry, east. One. Yep, there you go. And give me a little more southerly declination. Keep going, keep going. Keep going south, that's good. Keep going, keep going. Almost there. Okay, we're there. That should okay. do it. All right. All right, let's see if anything focuses in here. Okay, here it is. It focuses. You got it? It oh, focuses. Cool. Let's go a little now, further. See, this is like using a spy scope like, yeah. a, like the pirates did without yeah. a diagonal. But it does focus without a diagonal. And if you want to go ahead and move it down south a little bit more, you'll see oh, that see. we're just at the okay. tips of the trees there. It'll it'll bring in some oh, wrong way. some pine cones. There you go. Oh. oh, wrong way. Yep. There you go. Okay. I mean, this is so detailed. I can see the uh, little, this is a red bud tree we're looking at way in the distance there, I think. And you can just see the... The little um, this, the, the buds where the leaves used to be. Uh huh. There you go. Take a look. Not that much color considering it's an acromat. Um, this is a harsh test. We're looking at a blue sky, bright blue sky, oh, with yeah. dark twigs, um, approximately three or four hundred feet away. And you got pretty fine control over the focus yep. with this rack and pinion. Focus is good. It stays nice and there's no there's not much uh, play in the backlash. I mean it's 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 got good. Uh, uh, response when you change directions nicely. Mm -hmm. So, uh, excellent entry level telescope, I would say. Yep. Along with the excellent go to mount. Yep. Yeah. All right. I think it works. I do too. <laughs> we'll call this Jerry Myron's Excellent Adventure. That's right. <laughs>